How you doing? My name is Wesley Crump, and I'm a union carpenter. I'm an outreach instructor for the Southwest Carpenters Training Fund over a program called Brothers Keeper. Um, I've been a union carpenter for 23 years, and I got into union carpentry uh, at 26 years old. Um, it was a rough start before that. Um, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, and my father passed away when I was four years old. My mother passed away when I was 14 years old and made some bad decisions. And by the time I was 17, uh, I had made a mistake and I was paying for it in prison. Uh, I was released at 21 and obviously I hadn't, you know, learned my lesson yet. And in four months, I was back in prison. Um, at that point, I knew that I didn't want to go down that road anymore, <laughs> but I had to finish that term. Uh, I was released at 26 years old with uh, motivation on wanting to do something, but not really knowing what I would be eligible to do. Um, I found the pre-apprenticeship uh, that taught me about construction. Uh, my instructor, after evaluating me, figured that I would make a great carpenter. Uh, once I got into the Carpenters Union uh, in 1999, my first uh, project was a residential project. Um, after that, I stumbled across a project and it was concrete formwork. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And I've been doing concrete formwork uh, for the last 23 years. Uh, my organization has actually saved my life. Uh, got a great family now. I own three houses and haven't had to do anything uh, illegal or to get myself in trouble for the past 23 years. Um, and the benefits of it is, uh, like I said, uh, most of my houses I bought as fixer uppers. Well, because of my trade, I didn't have to pay anybody to fix them. I fixed them myself. And uh, great benefits. All of my, uh, my kids and my wife, they have medical, they have dental, they have vision. Uh, we have an annuity where they give you a certain amount of money every hour that you work. And when you retire, uh, they'll give you that lump sum. But that's not even the pension. The pension is $200 uh, for every year that you work. Uh, 30 years, no matter how old you started, uh, you're completely out of the trade and you're getting paid that money 100%. So that's one of the reasons we come to events like this. We want to get the youngsters um, young, right? When they can get 30 years and still have a lot of life left and uh, have a pension coming in already. Um, it's a great trade. Um, as a carpenter, our apprenticeship is also linked to the city college. So they're still getting college credits. Um, so it's an absolute best thing. And uh, I kind of want to wrap it up with a small story to say the difference that I'm not um, ever going to downgrade college because I think that higher learning is great for everything. But I do want to tell you guys a personal story. My wife is from Belize and they came here when she was three. She has an older brother that was six and I'm two years older than my wife. So me and him are about the same age. Um, at about 13 years old, he had made the decision that he wanted to be a doctor. Um, I got shot at 13 years old in South Central Los Angeles. I've already told you at 17 that uh, I made a mistake and uh, I got locked up. Well, at, at 18, he got accepted to USC uh, to do medical. Uh, when I got out at 21, um, he was graduating USC and I went back to prison. Um, in those four to five years, he had finished that and was going off to be a regular doctor. At 26, I found the Carpenter's Union. Um, today, I want to say I'm very proud of my doctor brother-in-law, uh, but he does have a large debt, uh, like the three houses I own, he's buying his one and he's paying on it. And I would never advocate for anybody to get shot at 13 or to go to prison at 17. But what I do want to let people know is there are different, uh, alternatives to getting careers and they're not bad at all. And, uh, if being in one of the trades is something that you might be interested in, um, I wish everybody the best of luck at it because I'm enjoying my life now.